welcome back to happy class online school so we are still in math uh, primary five and the first time in week two and this is part three so we are still in fractions and we are changing or we are converting from fractions to decimal remember what i explained that the other time when i when we are dealing with the first one that we have to split into three so that we have to for better understanding i remember we did a uh, fraction with 10 as 10 hundred as denominator and we did uh I think this is the second one that we have to do now. So the fraction with five hundred with factors of ten hundred and one thousand as denominator. So and the third one here is fraction with uh, denominators that are not factors of ten hundred and one thousand. So uh, so we have did the first one. So the second one is what we are going to do now. So let's move to the board. Now welcome to the board here. So uh, let's start with. Uh, so any numbers anytime you see a fraction that the denominator is two so you are going to multiply it by five you are going to multiply it by five so let me quickly give an example here so do, do, don't worry too much uh, about, about this let me quickly give an example just keep in mind that anytime you see a denominator in a fraction <coughs> that have two as denominator like one over two now and you have to convert or change one over two to decimal so the first thing you are going to do is to multiply the both the numerator and the denominator by two you understand oh, sorry by five sorry so by five so that will be two times five one times five over two times five and so now one times five will be five and two times five will be ten you understand yeah. So when you remember what I explained to you, when we are when we are changing uh, a numbers that are, a fraction that have ten as denominator, we you, since we have one zero here, we are going to see decimal point one times. So if you see decimal point one times like this, you understand this point now. So that means we are we are going to have zero point five. So how funny is that? So whenever you see a question like one over two, like this, that have two as denominator, just say one times five over two times five, just times denominator. By five and whatever you did to the denominator, you also have to do with the numerator. So one times five now is five, and two times five now is ten, and the answer is zero point five. That means one over two now to fraction is two is zero is zero point five. So if you understand that one, let me quickly give you one more example about this, and I will give you another exercise with this. So the example is that let's assume that you have to change a uh, four. Let's say no. Let's say. Four 5 over 2, yes. 5 over 2 to uh, to decimal. How are you going to do this? Remember that. Remember what I told you uh, in the first slide here. Remember what I told you that we are going to multiply this by 5. Whenever you see 2 as denominator, we are going to multiply it by 5. You understand? So that's still what I'm going to do here. That will be equals to. Sorry. So that will be equals to five times. You understand that? You remember that we are multiplying by five. If it is two as denominator here, we are going to multiply it by five. So and you are going to multiply the denominator also, numerator also by five. Now if we multiply this one now, five times five is twenty-five, right? And two times five is ten. Now whenever you see a, a, a fraction like this, twenty-five over ten. That have 10 as the you know you are going to shift this one point one time here. That means the answer for for this will be 2.5. Now, anytime you have to change 5 over 2, that means 5 over 2. If you want to change 5 over 2 to this one, now the answer will be 2.5. So let me quickly give you uh this one this uh exercise to do. So do this exercise. Do 7 over 2 and pause the video now. And uh, I will give you the answer. Now, if you're able to do it correctly and you're able to do it, remember that whenever you see two as denominator here, you are going to multiply by five. So let's quickly let's draw the fraction bar and let's quickly write that one down. So times five. So and you are going to do the same thing to the numerator. So seven times five is if I calculate that's thirty-five. You understand? Remember that. So thirty-five and two times five is ten. So definitely the answer will be. 3 the answer will be 3.5
I think anytime now that you see a number that have denominator of two, you are going to multiply by five. So that's the first one. Now let's move to the second one because two is a factor of. Let's quickly move to the second one first. Now the second one is that anytime you see a fraction that have five as denominator, you understand. Anytime you see a fraction that have five as denominator, just multiply both denominator and denominator by two. You understand. Anytime that you have that you see fractions that have five as denominator, just multiply the both denominator and denominator by two. Now this is an example. Now let's say you have to change two over five now to decimal. You understand. So we are going to do like this. We are going to multiply two. So whenever you see a denominator as five, like five, like just multiply it by two. You understand? And you have you have to do the same thing to the numerator now. So the answer will be two times two is four, and five times two is ten. So when you are changing a decimal a fraction like this to decimal point to decimal, just know that you are going to shift decimal point one time. That will be zero point four. That will be zero point four. So anytime you see a decimal, a fraction like this, that have five as the denominator, you understand. Anytime you see a fraction that have five as the denominator, just just know that you have to multiply it by two. And whatever you multiply by, whenever whatever you do to the denominator, you still have to do the same thing to the numerator. Now let me quickly uh, give you this exercise so that you able to understand better. Now let's say you have to write you change. Let's say eight over five now to to fraction to, to decimal so this is a fraction eight over five is an improper fraction so you have to change to decimal so that will be eight times five sorry 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 it's not eight times five so whenever you see five as denominator here you are going to multiply it by two remember that and whatever you do to the denominator you have to do this one the same thing to the denominator so two times eight times two is sixteen now and uh, five times two is ten so definitely if she decimal points one times because we are changing we are changing 16 over 10 to decimal so the answer will be 1.6 how easy is that now you are having fun changing fraction to decimal so that's it. that's another one now another thing is that anytime you see a fraction that have four as their denominator just multiply it by 25 you understand it's a long one it's becoming long but i think it's even better it's even more easier and quicker than just roaming about in math so let's say you have to change three over four now to decimal the first thing is that that will be three times times 25 you understand over four times 25 you understand so you are going to multiply it by 25 so 3 times 25 now is 3 times 5 is uh, 15 you write 5 here you keep 1 and 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 that's 75 over and 4 times 25 is just 100 it's 100 and we have simplified the problem now so we are going to change the decimal point two times the decimal point will be here first 1 2 1 1 2 like this that means the answer will be 0 0.75 so whenever you see a question that have four as denominator just multiply both denominator and denominator by 25 so that's how to do that one that's how to do it so let's move to this to another one now whenever you see a question that okay let me quickly explain that uh that 25 okay now let's see that uh, let me quickly explain this one now anytime you see 25 as denominator anytime you see 25 as denominator you understand just multiply it by 4 i think it's becoming funnier you can even see the pattern there so anytime you see 25 as like, let's say you have to change 2 over 25 now 2 over 25 now to decimal so that will be 2 over 25. Remember that whenever you see 25 as denominator, so you change, you, use, you multiply both denominator and denominator by 4. You understand? So 2 times 4 will be 8. 
and 25 times 4 will be 100. That means if you change this, if you want to change 8, if you are out, if you are to change, sorry, if you want to change 8 over 100 to decimal point now, that will be you see decimal point two times 1, 2. And remember what I told you that whenever there is a space here, you put 0 here, you remember decimal point will be here. So the answer will now be 0 0.08. That means 25 over 100, if you change the decimal, we are going to have 0 0.08. So that is it. Now, for you to be able to understand this quickly better, let's quickly do 8 over 25. And I will do this along with you. So 8 over 25 now. So 8 over 25, we now multiply it by 4 because 4, because remember what I explained the other time. So we have 25 as denominator, so we are going to multiply by by 4. So that will be 8 times 4 over 25 times 4. Now, 8 times 4 is, uh, I think, since, let me, let, let me do it with you along with you. We have, we want to get 8 times 4 now. So 8 times 5 is 40, right? 8 times 5 is 40. Now, if you take 8 from this one now, that would be, um, that would be, I think that's 32. Right, that means 8 times 4 now is 32. If you don't know how I get that one, don't worry. In the future, when we are dealing with multiplication, I will explain it better to you. So now 8 times 4, which is 32. So 8 times 4 is 32 over. So 25 times 4 now is 100. So 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32. And uh, 54 times 4 is. 25 times 4 is 100. So that means we are going to shift this one point two times 1, 2. Definitely the answer will be 0 0.32. So this is the answer. So 8, 8 over 25 now, if you are asked to change the decimal, the answer will be 0 0.32. So that is it about, to eight, about any denominator that you see, any fraction that you want to change the decimal, that have 25 as the denominator. We are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by 4. Keep that in mind and it's very important. Now, the other one is anytime you see a fraction that have 50 as denominator, you understand that have 50 as denominator, so just multiply it by 2. You understand? Just keep on. Anytime you see a fraction that have 50 as denominator, just multiply. Let's assume that you have to change 4 over 50 now to decimal. You understand? So that means you have to do just 4 times 2 over 50 times 2 so 4 times 2 now will be 8 you understand and 50 times 2 now will be 100 okay. so definitely you are going to shift decimal point two times 1 2 and you are going to write zero. this decimal point will be here you remember that uh, as i already explained to you definitely the answer will be 0 0.08 so that's the answer anytime you see a decimal a fraction that you are asked to change the decimal and you check the denominator and you see that denominator is 50. Just multiply both denominator and denominator by denominator and the denominator by by two. And you are you are good with that, I think. So that's just that about you can you can just do this one. Let me just give you uh, one exa one example to one example to do. Let's say you have to change 72 over 50 now to 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 decimal, you understand. So since you check the, the, the denominator and see the denominator is 50, just multiply it by 2. So this will be multiplied by 2 and this also will be multiplied by 2. So now, 72 multiplied by 2 is 2 times 2 is 4, right? And 2 times 7 is 14. That's 144 over. And 50 times 2 is 100, right? That means we are going to shift the decimal point that is already here, 2 times 2. That means 1, 2. That means the answer will be 1.4. Is not 1.44, it's 1.44. So that's the answer. So 72 over 50 now will be 1.44. Now, anytime you see a denominator that have 20, anytime you see 20 as denominator, just multiply it by 5. You understand? Just multiply it by 5. Now, that would be let's assume that you have to do uh, 8. No, let's do 6. Let's do um, okay, 3 over 20 now. So that means we are going to multiply it by 5. Remember what I said. You are going to multiply it by 5. So because we are, you are going to get 100. 
and once you get 100 it's easy for you to change it to to decimal so 3 over 20 now so this will be times 5 and 3 also will be times 5 so 3 times 5 is 50 and 20 times 5 is 100 so when you are changing from a, there's a fraction like this 50 over 100 that means you are going to shift decimal point two times 1 to decimal point that will be 0 0.15 right that means this answer is 0 0.15 so what you have to keep in mind that whenever you ask when you ask to change a fraction to decimal and you check the denominator and the denominator is 20 just multiply both the denominator and the denominator by by 5 as we did here you understand just multiply both the denominator and the denominator by 5 and i think you get the correct answer you understand so uh, the second one here which is anytime you are dividing a fraction you are asked to change a fraction to decimal and you check the denominator and you see that the denominator is 8 you understand just multiply it by 125 that's a long one right but i think it's more easier than doing the the long form you will, you will see there you see why actually uh, you actually have to work with this one which is because this one is much more simple now let's say you have to change 7 over 8 to decimal now you are going to multiply 7 times 125 you understand 7 times 125 over 8 times 125 so 7 times 125 will be, if you did that one right, that would be 875. And 8 times 125, now, yeah, now, this will give us 1000, I think. Yes, it will give us 1000, yes. So now, 8 times 20, 125 now will give us 1000. That means whenever you want to change a fraction like this to decimal, you have to shift decimal point from this side, one, two times, three times, sorry, one, two, the decimal point will be definitely the answer will be 0 0.875 so try and write the question question yourself and you will actually see uh, how to do this one because you are going to get uh, the correct answer so whenever you ask to change 7 over 8 or any numbers that have 8 as denominator just multiply both denominator and denominator denominator by 125 now let me quickly run this off by saying this that anytime you see a fraction that have 500 as the denominator just multiply both the numerator as you have been doing by by two you understand now like this one now let's say you have to change one over 500 now to decimal it's rare you see a question like this but i just have to explain to you so that i'll be able to play with it so that will be one times two over 500 times two you understand that means we are going to get 2 over 1000 so this will be since we are changing 2 over 1000 decimal achieve decimal point 3 times 1 2 3 so 1 is 0 will be here 1 is 0 that will be 0 0.002 you understand that will be 0 0.002 so that is the answer so another one is that whenever you see a, a a fraction that has 250 you understand that has 250 as the denominator just multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 you understand let's say we have uh, 30 now 3 over 250 now you understand so that will be since we are multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 4 that will be equals to 3 times 4 and uh, 250 times 4. So 250 times 4, 250 times 4 will give us 250 times 4 will give us 1000, I think, yes. And 3 times 4 will give us 12, you understand? That means we are going to shift this map on 3 times, that will be 1, 2, 3. So 0 will be here now, you understand? That means the answer will be 0 0.0 one two so zero point zero one two that get our right shift this one times one two three okay zero this my point is here so we had one zero here that would be zero point zero one two i think that's the correct answer 
So and then uh, anytime you see a, a decimal point, uh, sorry, anytime you have to change a fraction to decimal, and you check the denominator and you see the denominator is 125. You understand? You check the denominator, I see the denominator is 125, just multiply it by 8. So you are going to get 1000. You understand? So now let me give you an example. Let's say we have to change 1 over 125 now to decimal. That means we are going to do 1 times 8 over 125 times 8. Now, 1 times 8 will give us 8, and 125 times 8 will give us 1000. Definitely, we are going to shift decimal point 3 times 1, 2, 3. That means 0 will be here, decimal will be here, remember, and 0 will be here. That means the answer will be 0 0.008. You understand so the answer will be 0 0.008 so the answer will be 0 0.008 so that's the answer so anytime you see a decimal a fraction that you have to change decimal and you take the denominator and you see the denominator is 125 just multiply both the denominator and the denominator by 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 four you understand sorry i said four is by eight remember this is so you just multiply it by good numerator and numerator by by it. I think uh, I think that's all. So the next one we are going to move to how to change from how to change from uh from uh from uh how to ch how to convert fractions that have that the, the numerator is not factors of ten or one thousand or others. So let me quickly review this so that you'll be able to see it. Okay, I think let me block this one. So and uh, let me block this one too. So you see this one now. This is how to change from if your denominator is twenty, you are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by five. And here, if the denominator is eight, you are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by one twenty-five. And here, if the denominator is five hundred, you are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by two. And here, if the denominator is if if the denominator is two two fifty, you are going to multiply both denominator and denominator by four. And here, if the numerator is 125, you are going to multiply both the numerator and numerator by 8. So, whenever you have to change the number to decimal or a fraction to decimal, that's how you are going to do it. So, goodbye for now. Make sure you rewind and do all the exercises, do all the questions again by yourself, and make sure you check, cross check it. So, because if you not do it like that, you will be able to understand it better. So, goodbye, goodbye for now.